continuing our discussion on literary movements we have now reached in the age of you can say and the post modernism or you can say the movements that came after the world war second one of the most important movement that came after world war second was beat generation movement the word beat refers to the musical term as the beats it is highly influenced by the music uh, the jazz music uh, the the jazz music which we have discussed in the harlem renaissance 1920s the harlem renaissance was also uh, sort of influenced by jazz music they invented jazz music and this movement also beat generation movement also was highly influenced by the music the difference is harlem renaissance of 1920s uh, was much more focused on reviving uh, the african american history but here the writers are on self discovery the writers are seeking sort of enlightenment away from the materialistic world they dedicated themselves to rejection of materialism they were not interested in political and social issues but in self realization in surrealism in metaphysical poetry and above all gen poetry it was quite obvious that after the world war second the things were so much heartbreaking a lot of tensions a lot of mass killing and then there was atomic bomb which was uh, you can say uh, fell down over japan hiroshima nagasaki hiroshima so a lot of people started finding out new ways to live their lives and among them were the beat generation writers which uh, tried to sort spirituality and gen buddhism not through practicing meditation um, but through a little easier way to detach themselves from the outside world by the consumption of drugs or you can say abuse of cigarettes marijuana you can say that meditation is not a culture of american uh, society and uh, they were much more inclined towards drugs and uh, alcohol abuse to sort enlightenment to detach themselves from what's happening in the outside world and to go deeper in themselves self absorb option through the use of these chemical substances the works that represent this movement jack kerouac on the road and the dharma bums william burroughs nick lunch and poems such as allen ginsberg's hall and gregory corso's bomb another work is of lawrence furling hetty that is a coney island of mind you don't have to go through any of these works in detail simply remember the works associated with the writers and the information which i'm going to share in this video all right so before we continue our discussion on beat generation writers if you are one of those students who are preparing for ugc net or gate examination then you can simply check out our study material where you will find all the notes which i am discussing in these videos in a very organized manner you can simply check the link in the description below to know more about our study material now without any further delay let's continue our discussion on beat generation movement all right so as i just mentioned that uh, these writers were sort of hippies or you can say bohemian personalities they talked about ecstasy bliss happiness to get them by any way or any possible reason if the pleasure if the enlightenment if the happiness blissfulness is coming through the abuse of drugs marijuana or you can say sex and uh, they did it legally use of all these substances made them feel a uh, trippy uh, you can say uh, enlightened sort of enlightenment and they used they they were so much self expressive in their works they used the free writing style in fact allen ginsberg's poem title hole is the most important poem of this generation it was against the materialistic world or you can say the illusionment illusions of world war second and sex liberalism the poem hole has three parts the first one lamentation on the woes of post world war second american society and despair felt by the americans the second part describes government and materialism as the root cause of discontent and restlessness the last the third part encourages the importance of true friendship and freedom to express emotional and sexual identity the poem was banned just because of the explicit use of sexual language again uh, there were the the nature of writing was homosexual the poem was banned but later on the ban was lifted and the sales and the, the sales of this poem went up and drastically the sales made it the best selling work of 1950s which even made this beat generation movement over the top of other literary movements uh, which were uh, you can say active during 1950s 
another work which gained popularity was on the road by jack kerouac again the work is all about the road trips done by the jack kerouac the author jack kerouac and uh, the sexual liberalism the relationship between and the two people the and the illusion of materialistic life that we are living in actually what happened was in 1950s the growth of american society was at rapid pace the roads and highways were constructed during 1950s all over the world there was a tension and that world war 3 may also happen because in 19 18 the world war first was ended and just after 10 years of world war one the hitler the notorious adolf hitler came into power and after nine years hitler declared the world war second so in just a short span uh, world war one and world war two happened and so americans and other countries were also very much in tension that world war three may also happen and then the cold war between america and russia so it began in 1950s and it went up to uh, 1997 still you see russia and america is in world war three sort of world war three which is going between russia and ukraine america is helping ukraine to fight against russia so during 1950s also america was concerned about it and they started uh, making highways and roads so that the armies can freely move from one place to another there were people who took the maximum advantage of these newly constructed highways and roads and those people were the beat generation writers these beat generation writers moved across the country they traveled so far they had their road trips they moved from one coffee house to another coffee house and they were so much uh, you can self-absorbed away from the materialistic world away from social and political issues of american society even the book on the road is all about the road trip of jack kerouac maybe someday we will also come out of this illusion of materialistic world we are living in and start our spiritual journey not through the use of drugs or alcohol or um, cigarettes uh, but through practicing meditation and uh, believing in religious scriptures so this is what all i have to share in this video i hope you found the video worth your time if you're new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates on english literature that's it for this video thank you